Hello everyone, and thanks again for tuning in to yet another episode of our playthrough of the Vampire Masquerade Redemption. Uh, last time we found Luther Black and was ultimately betrayed by Count Orsi, which we now are thrown in. I think it was called the Templar. Actually, Teutonic Night Base. Okay. As you can see, it's level four, because this one's actually interesting, because... Since we're coming out of it, we'll, uh, you know, ascend in numbers. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and get started. I think we're going to have a lot of fighting on our hands because these guys, uh, mean business. Look at them in their full plate armor. Three of them. Sounds like another one's walking around somewhere. So, let, yeah, let's jump into it. Oh, my God. One of them hit me for quite a bit of damage. Oh god, they killed Crystal so quickly. Uh, hopefully we have enough going on for us. Because I almost forgot, I was, as I was editing the last video, I was kind of thinking about all the stuff that we got. We have all the stuff that we can sell. The bad thing is... You know, we, we have to now get through this dungeon, too. So, I don't remember... I mean, I guess I could always attempt it if we could walk the abyss. Which would seem kind of silly. If we could, right? Because uh, then what's the point of this dungeon if we can just, you know, walk our way out? I could totally be wrong. What are those things? Are those spiders? Ghoul spider. Are those spiders that feed off of, like, vampire blood and then are, like, <laughs> stronger than normal spiders? Is actually, like, super terrifying. I mean, I guess not in this world when we have... Uh, I can draw no precious blood here. Oh, they have like some kind of protection. Yeah, when I mean, we have you know vampires and werewolves that walk the night, I'm guessing that uh, giant spiders probably aren't the worst of our troubles. Okay. Somehow William Gosh, William. Wilhelm somehow got locked out. I mean, I'm guessing William is probably like the modern equivalent. I'm sure there's parts of the world where people still prefer Wilhelm over William, but uh yeah, William's a much more common name to me. Okay, that seems kinda weird that there's just gold and Precious jewels lying around, right? Like, a treasure chest? This is, yeah. This is a weird little spot. Oh my god. Okay, so not only are we, like, kind of struggling. But we're also getting gypped on our treasure chest. Okay, well, we're all pretty, pretty low on blood, so we might have to, I might have to go against my best interests and share. Like I said, if, if it becomes tough, I will attempt to walk the abyss. Slave the free. Capture them. Do not let them escape. Why escape, when we can stay and feast on thy soft, warm blood? I don't think we can, though, can we? Shoot. This vessel has no blood to give. Ah, oh, okay. Oh my god, where did you come from? So yeah. 
been made, and death is me. Unfortunately, we, uh... Can't use our... Our trick of... Um... Feeding off of guys. Okay, I'm really tempted to see what it does. Yeah, <laughs> I knew that that would be like too easy if we could just like walk the abyss out of here. I did think about that. Okay, for some reason we can just like knock their heads off. It's actually pretty nice. 65. Okay, so it's a bit lower. I don't know if there's like a way to look up different uh, enemies and see if they have weaknesses. Because I think, I mean, I could totally be wrong about this, but I want to say that plate mail, you're better at doing bashing damage. You would like swords and. Well, not would be ineffective against heavy armor. I don't know. I mean, not a huge axe like that. Assume that that would also do like a, a bit of damage too to armor. Okay, we are not doing terrible with these guys. It's actually kind of surprising to me because we're like. Taking off their heads pretty <laughs> regularly. Problem is we just have like no blood. I don't think we can like eat off of the giant rats. Okay, maybe it'd be a good idea to save. I had remembered that this part was coming up and that we couldn't just warp out of here. Uh, probably would have been smart to, in maybe the last episode, prepare a little bit, but fortunately my knowledge kind of gets kind of fuzzy at this point in the game. Like, there's very specific things I remember, but I don't really remember how they all like interconnect. You do, okay. Where did that where did that rat go? Do you like just disappear? Is that possible? Can the rat just disappear? Or is that him? Did he like walk through the wall? Oh we actually have two. Okay. Uh now I'm going to hurt to just do what we can. Wow. Yeah, if we could just do that. Seems like if we can take them on one at a time, we just like mow through them. We aren't very good at uh, baiting some away from, from, from the collective. Like, there's been so many times where I try to, like, aggro one, not the others, but especially with my companions, they just love to run into battle. Anything to be gained from here? Doesn't look like it. Oh. I mean, it's nice that we're getting money and like jewels from this place, but it's so weird, right? Like, why is there just like a random cell that has 100 gold in it sitting there? 
the fact that there was like emeralds next to a skeleton. Oh, he's the Lord? Is that different? I can draw no precious yeah. Figured, try it. Don't expect it to be any different, but I do think we're at a certain level of desperation that maybe something changes that allows us to get blood from them. I feel like this spot is going to be particularly bad. bad. <laughs> At my companions of using their blood magic. It's like we need to reserve that stuff. We've already had to use a couple scrolls of Awakens. I don't know how many we have left. Oh, I thought that was a... I thought that was a spider there for a second. You can see now they're just a bag of money. For some reason. It's a little horrifying watching their headless bodies try to flee. just hanging out in these rooms I thought it was a little weird that the knight would just be standing in there with like the ghoul spider but at the same time it's like well it, he might not see it right it's just a spider but I mean he's standing next to a giant rat okay it's definitely save I think it probably would auto save since we walked through the door Mm-hmm. Okay, so there's a couple of rats. Couple knights, I see. Oh my god. Well, we're dead. Unless we can remove a couple heads super quick. Okay, I'm gonna try this just so I know for my own thing. No, okay. Oh, wait, where did he come from? So busy looking at the stuff on the ground that I didn't realize that he had walked in here. Okay. The only way there's... thing to gain. Thing in here. Alright. Alright, how about you lead the charge, Eric, and I'll just... Because you're blocking the frickin' doorway. before they all come back and saw block you from getting out of the door. Oh god. I am weak with lack of precious blood. Cauldron of blood. What does that one do? Mm-hmm. I'm kind of tempted. Just because if I think this is what it is. Like, wait. Yeah, non-human only. I not have enough blood. Okay, so right clicking on it doesn't do anything and using it like a normal scroll doesn't do anything, so I am sorry guys that I 
drank that Vita, but at the same time, I really thought for a second that uh, we were going to get like a endless blood supply for a little bit to feast off of. Ooh, okay. I just thought of something. Maybe it's not something you'd like use on the environment. Maybe use it on enemy. Oh, he's moving. Okay. I can't tell if uh, something changed. Oh, a blood pouch. Those are actually pretty handy because I think they're like multi-use uh, Fiate bottles. Okay. At least we're not completely with without blood. We are piecewise finding some. Okay. So you definitely need some Tempted to give the blood pouch to you, Serena, just because. I don't remember how many charges. Five? Oh, wow, that's kind of. It's actually really good. But we all just kind of pass it around. And then, yeah. Well, um, get last one. Okay, cool. Oop. It's definitely safe. I think we're at a better spot than we were. Always take some gold. Nice. I don't know why we are like mowing through these guys. I feel like when we first started out, we struggled a little bit taking them out. I'm sure, it's our strength in numbers that has helped carry us. Hey, look at that. What's wrong? How come I can't move? Okay, I think we're like stuck in a corner. Three hundred and four ninety-four gold. Why is there so much money just laying around down here? It's kind of weird. Okay, we all cool? I think somehow Kristoff got put in, pushed inside of a crate or something. Definitely want to come back and pick up all this money. No reason to leave him. Money on the ground. To the abyss with thee. Ah! Okay. So we've made some pretty good progress with the blood. I feel a lot better about our situation now we all about have halfway I guess Wilhelm's a little low um, um so yeah let's just keep pressing on I think this is all we can do right now is keep moving up kind of curious I don't exactly remember but I hope we get some kind of revenge on Count Orsi for setting us up Not too worry about catching the rats. I mean, would it be nice to have them? Yes, of course. Any. Oh, what is that? Any kind of blood pool would be nice. 
but at the same time, I don't want to chase down a rat, which probably doesn't really have that much to begin with. God, Eric, you just one swift swing of the axe and take off that guy's head. Kind of nuts. Okay, I don't think there's anything in that one. Okay, so it seems like we're back to fighting the Tremere. Our old friends, the Tremere. At this rate, I think... Nice. Eric, you dummy. Oh my god. We had a free blood supply there, and you just... Ruined it for all of us. Okay. Maybe the knights are stronger than the lords? I feel like we've been fighting a lot of lords and just been mowing them down, but... Now this makes me think otherwise. That lords are beneath the knights. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Pretty sure I saw some coins in there. So when we get out from here, definitely want to stock up on some good armor. Okay. That wasn't terrible, but I don't think it would be a bad idea to save periodically. Okay. Who? I think it's you. Oh, yeah, probably. I'm going to say Wilhelm gets this feed. As long as we can all be cool. Oh my god, there's a lot of them. Okay, this probably was a bad idea to try to feed in the middle of this. Nice. If we get them to play, we might actually be able to feed off of one more. Come on, guys. No. Yeah, of course. Of course, that's gonna how it's gonna go. Huh. Is that any different than a bloodstone? Guessing it is. Because why would they make the same thing twice? We're going to have so much stuff to sell. I'm actually like super looking forward to that. I'm oh, looking forward to all these statuettes that we're getting though. Oh, that's dirty. That's obviously a bottle of Vitae and a disease vaccine, but they don't allow us to to take it. Like, why are they tempting us with potential blood? That guy. Why is that one green? Well... Oh, I can't feed from him while he's feeding off of her. I mean, I guess I get it gameplay-wise, but still. Why aren't you hitting him? There we go, cool. Okay, we're taking damage because of the hoppers, and our animation is now messed up. But it seems like, according to the blood gauge, we are feeding off of him, so that's all that I care about. Almost. Come on. Ooh, what is that? Tremere Amulet. 
Hmm. Don't really remember that guy. Oh, just another generic book. Yeah. I don't think we ever figured out what the last one did. Do we need most of this stuff? I mean, it'd be good to sell. I don't know if it's going to do us any huge benefit to our pockets. Lure of Flames. What's that? Okay. I guess we learned something. Ooh. Okay, that is actually an upgrade of something. 15, 15, 15, and 30, 30, 20. That is what I'm talking about. Um, I'm guessing that green flame didn't do anything unless I missed it and then maybe like a hopper popped out or something. I believe, what was it? Yeah, of course we're esca escaping, but I want to say Orvis is like the curio shop guy of this area. Definitely want to save. I will press on for a little bit longer. We are kind of nearing the end of our allotted time. I didn't think I'd get through this one because it is like uh, four things deep, I guess. Oh my god, there's a bunch of guys right there. Okay, well that wasn't too bad. Okay, there's Serena, you. Looking a little worse for wear. 70? 55. Okay, so the pearl is actually worse in that regard. It's kind of interesting. I would assume because the pearl is, at least to us right now, a little bit rare, right? Um. Did we save? We should save. Because it seems like this is, uh, might be a little bit of a... Oh, there's not that many. For some reason, I was thinking there was, like, four or five guys in here. Okay. That, was... <laughs> that wasn't bad. I'm, I'm okay with that. Blood Rage. Nothing. Another silver bracelet, which... God, I'm tired of getting those. 173 gold. That's pretty good. I'll, I'll gladly take that. Um, if we can't get good items, at least money will allow us to pay for good items. 352. Wow. Okay. I think that's everything. Okay, that wasn't a total bus... I hate the fact that I've, you know, decided that I don't want to be cheaty about it because, man, could we get some really good stuff if we really wanted to. Especially when we have a room like that where it's just, like, full of chests. Okay, we're... I mean, we're we're confident, right? Oh my god, there's just like diamonds in there. I was a little worried because when we first went to the uh, like when we first were imprisoned, it opened up our little uh, level up menu. At first, I was like. You know, didn't really think about it, but then after the fact, I was like, well, we might be struggling now because we didn't take the time to, you know, upgrade any of our characters, but we're not doing too bad. I do anticipate us hitting a wall at some point. I feel like all it takes is one named character, like the uh, Nosferatu, Athelios, to just, like, completely knock us on our butt. Um, but so far, so good. We haven't, uh, any issues with that. I don't really know which way I'm supposed to go. God, there's a lot of these little pocket rooms, huh? Okay, so it's a couple Tremere. Um, yeah. Let's take these 
next little rooms out, and then I think we'll call it there. I think that'll be a nice stopping point. Ah, look at it. Just something so unnerving about watching them like walk away as their health slowly drains. Man, we are... There's something coming up, right? Like... There's like gonna be like a big game reset and we like lose all of our equipment. I don't think there is, at least... Spoilers, not yet. But I feel like we're getting so much good stuff that it's like... We're trying to hype you up just to take it all away. Hmm. Trust you, Serena. Wilhelm has like a huge dependency on casting spells. We know he likes to bring out the feral claws just to show off. Actually, we get Serena in here to. Yes. Okay. Okay. Luckily, it's just a hopper attacking us. His dying words. You gotta love it. His last words he uttered on this world was, Flee, and I shall spare thee. Nice. Okay. What are our prizes? Okay, I can't tell if we're triggering those or if we're just don't get anything from them. Man. Like what what is up? Is there like a lore reason? We're getting so many like uh Um precious gems. I mean look at our inventory and I don't even think yeah. Okay. But yeah, that's what I think we're going to call things. We'll keep pressing on for next time. And, you know, hopefully escape and regain our freedom. But thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.